A beautiful day mga kasiyase. Welcome to Certified Skin Authority. I'm Dr. Contessa giving you updates on the science of skin care, lasers, anti-aging medicine, and aesthetic dermatology. In today's episode, let's talk about summer skin care. Ano po ba ang tamang pangangalaga ng ating balat during summertime? And pag-usapan na rin natin ang common skin conditions that we encounter sa panahon ng tag-init. Paano po ba natin ito matitreat? And paano natin maiiwasan? In the second segment, let's also talk about the science behind body perfection. During summer, we go to the beach, we go to the resorts, we go swimming. So how do we achieve a perfect summer body shape? And in the third segment, let's look at the different slimming procedures that are available here at CSA Derm Center. Abangan nyo po ngayon yan, dito lang sa Certified Skin Authority. This is now ice compress on the injected area. Okay, for 30 minutes and then to do. Okay, my inner comes out. wanted to enhance in a way na gusto mo mag-lip siya, mag-angat, right? And then also sa may... So we have actually applied na yung namin cream on this side, dito lang sa air corner of the mouth. And then dito po, we assess, we kind of clench. Okay. Magandang araw mga ka-CSA! Ako po si Van at isa po ako sa mga miyembro ng Certified Skin Authority. Ito po ang ating trivia sa ngayon. Alam niyo po ba na sa bansang Europa, pinagbabawal na ang sobrang underweight na models? Ito po ay pinangunahan last year lang, noong taong 2015, para bawalan na ang mga anorexic o ang sobrang payat na models na may sakit na rin na gustong gusto nilang butot balat na sila. Ito po ay sinimula ng trend ni Gigi Hadid, isa pong international model na kung saan ang kanyang brand ay ang muscle is the new sexy. Pinapasikat niya na no more skinny bodies, more on muscular bodies. Kaya sikat na po ngayon ang may abs. Isa po sa ating mga local artist na si Ann Curtis at international sensations po natin na si Pia Wurzbach ang nauuna po na baguhin ang imahe ng Pilipina o ng buong kababaihan sa buong mundo na muscle is the new sexy. At ngayon po ang aking tita sa ngayon. Now back to Doctora. And we're back mga ka-CSA. Thank you very much Vanessa for that very recent update. And we are now on our topic, Summer Skin Care. Together with me, Miss Carmina and Mr. Yong. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Batiin ang mga so CSA. glad to be back. Hi mga yep. CSA. Hello mga CSA. Oh, ayan. Ang dalawang ito summer ready ang kanilang mga skin, <laughs> di ba? Pwede niyo bang ibahagi sa ating mga CSA paano niyo pinangangalaga ng inyong skin lalo na ngayong panahon ng tag-init. Yep. Yeah, sa so summer ang daming nagiging skin problems, rashes, yes. irritation, dahil madalas tayong magpawis, minsan yep. Nakakalay yeah. din yung sobrang araw. First of all, ang pinakanabasa ko po kasi pinaka-importante is keep yourself hydrated. Right. Yeah. Dati, sabi nila, um, drink at least 8 glasses of water. Ngayon, ang minimum is 10, 10 yeah. or 12 na po yata. Kasi sobrang init talaga. Alam ko, pag nagkukulahan right. ka talaga ng tubig, nakakatanda sa ano. Yes. Yes. Nandidehydrate ka, yep. tapos magka-haringkas na, magka-parapolin. <laughs> Yan yung pinakaayaw no, talaga no. ng mga babae, unang-una. Yes. So, ayun. Um, other than that, I also recommend, um, kahit do it yourself, facial mask lang at home, ganun, yep. um, use of fruits or other <laughs> organic stuff. Like yeah. ako, I use tomatoes and sugar para natural exfoliant siya. Tapos i-ano mo lang sa face, soft, 
super soft na ano lang ha. Wag yung super harsh na parang ang daming pressure. Dapat kasi very gentle lang dapat tayo sa skin natin. Lalo na sa facial part. And um, ako I love using ice. Yep. Yung yung tinuro niya sa akin. Ito na ito ko pa yun. Na it closes your pores kapag malamig. Lalo na ang init ng panahon, so parang feeling ko yung skin natin ay nagmamakaawa. <laughs> Naprotektahan natin sa araw. And yun pala, um, sunscreen. Correct. For me, very important ang sunscreen. Kahit nasabihin mong hindi ka naman masyadong magbibilas, it's a must na gumamit. Yeah. Ikaw, ano bang ginagawa yan, mo? Yan, yung. Ikaw naman. Puro <laughs> ako. Sa male version. <laughs> male version. Siyempre, di ba? Yun, laging turo sa akin, yellow talaga yung pinaka-importante kasi Ano rin yun, pampaganda rin ng mukha at bawas, ano rin, wrinkles din, medyo nabawasan din yun sa akin dito. Ayun, tapos ano pa ba? Okay, additional yes. thank you kay Dr. Ah, Kaya oh. yun. Right. Kay Dr. Kaya <laughs> Eh, pag tumatawa na ako, wala na siya. Mga CSA, meron tayong mga yep. practical tips from this lovely couple. And na-mention ni Carmina kanina, yung appearance ng mga skin rashes. Yes. It is very common during summer na meron tayong pinatawag na photodermatitis. Oh. So, exposure from the uh, sun. Direct sun. Yes. So, meron yung mga iba, sensitive ang kanilang balat sa sobrang init, sa UV rays, okay, nagkakaroon ng mga reactions or allergic reactions. So, sunburn. That's also very yes. common yeah. right now. Sobra. Diba? Lalo na po, parang yes. ang nakahiligan pag summer, swimming. Diba? Swimming. Automatic yan. Right. So, pumupunta na po sila sa aming clinic na meron ng redness, meron na rin yung iba, blisters, or yung iba naman, nagsusugat na. Okay? So, yung iba, nangangati daw. Okay? So, irritations, yan yung sunburn. So, what we do in our clinic, of course, we give treatment for that. Meron tayong mga tamang gamot para sa pag-treat ng sunburn. Yung iba kasi mild lang naman eh. Mamula-mula lang. So, mild treatment lang. Pero I had a case na talagang nasugat yung balat. Oh my God. Ko pala. <laughs> yeah. Tapos na-infect. Ayun. Yun, talagang severe sunburn yun. Kaya diba? ayun po, kapag may ganyan na skin problem kayo, dumiretso kayo sa expert like Dr. Laura Contessa. Huwag yep. niyong, di ba may mga DIY na home remedies, pero yes. iba pa rin kasi po professional. Sigurado ka yes. na effective siya, sigurado kang safe siya. Kasi Correct. kahit na home remedy safe sila, meron kasing mga allergies ng iba. Yes. na hindi natin alam, kaya kailangan That's natin right. ng tulong ng profession. Tsaka, huwag nyo ding hayaang na lumala pa yun. Yes. yes. Kasi pag malala na, mahirap lang. Yeah. Mahirap lang yung cure. That's At very important. important. <laughs> Sobra. Yes. So, mga kasiya, saying napakahalaga talaga na agapan natin kaagad kung yeah. meron tayong mga sunburn, photodermatitis, skin rashes. So, merong tamang paraan ng panggagamot. Okay? Kasi we had cases nga, gumabi, yung nasunog infection, na. nasunog at na-infect pa, nasugat. So, dapat lang talaga na magpa-check up sa ating clinic. Ha? And syempre, para maiwasan talaga yung sunburn, yung na-mention ni Carmina kanina, sunscreen. 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 And payong! Huwag kayo huwag kayo kahiyan ng mga payong. <laughs> Tama yun, di ba? So, sa sunscreen naman, check natin yung SPF. The okay. Sun ano Protection Factor. Ano po ba yung parang safest factor. na... Number. Yes, we usually rec recommend SPF 50 or 50. higher. Okay. okay, so parang um, yun po yung minimum. Exactly. Ang SPF kasi, yun yung gaano katagal ang protection ng iyong sunblock sa iyong skin. Okay. So kung meron kang SPF 30, so every 3 to 4 hours, we apply. Oh. So kung meron kang SPF 50, mas nagtatagal. So ano po yung highest naman na limit? Meron kasi tayong nakikita ngayon mga SPF 80, SPF 100, SPF 120. Uh -huh. So, mas nagtatagal yung effectivity ng sun protection. Pero safe naman yes. po sila kahit para higher. Uh, meron kasi mga sun protection na hypoallergenic. Kasi mm -hmm. merong mga tao na may mga sensitive skin. So, pwede nating tingnan kung hypoallergenic pa sila. O, oh, ayan. Ang daming Ayon. natutunan ng ating mga ka-CSA. Yep. Diba? Okay, so wag po silang maglilipat ng channel. We'll be back! Magandang araw po ulit mga kasiyasi at andito po tayo sa Part 2 Trivia. Ang pangalawang trivia ko naman po ngayon ay ano ang tamang sunod-sunod na workout 
Kasi diba lahat tayo gusto ng summer body, so how can we attain it? Then, let's start with a workout. Meron po tayong four parts of workout. Meron warm-up, number one. Number two, stretching. Number three, exercise proper. Dito na tayo mag-exercise talaga. At number four, I cool down. Pero ano importansya ng bawat isang ito at gaano sila katagal dapat ginagawa? Number one, ang warm-up ay ginagawa po for five to ten minutes. Ito po ay para kumalat ang oxygen natin sa katawan para lahat ng muscles may tamang amount ng oxygen para gumawa ng kanilang work. Tapos, number two is stretching. Ginagawa po ito for 10 to 20 minutes para po hindi mahirapan ng ating muscles sa mga rigorous training na ating mga gagawin. Number three, exercise proper. Depende po ito kung mabigat o light lang gagawin natin. Kung alam po nating marami po tayong gagawin ngayon na gusto po natin ay super workout, let's do it for 25 minutes. Pero kung marami naman po tayong oras, gawin naman po natin 30 minutes. At lastly, nandyan po tayo sa step 4. Ayun ay ang cool down. Bakit nga ba natin ginagawa ang cool down for 5 to 10 minutes? Ito po ay para magkaroon ng magandang blood circulation. Blood recirculation. Para umikot ang blood sa buong katawan para ma-distribute ang oxygen sa ating mga nagugutom na muscles. At wag na wag po natin yung kakalimutan. Kasi pag nakalimutan po natin yon, madali po tayong mamulitan. At yun po ang aking trivia for this segment. Back to you, Doctora. Welcome back, mga ka -CSA. And thank you, Vanessa, for another trivia. And right now, pag-usapan naman natin ang science behind body perfection. Wow, big word, yes. perfection talaga. Perfection, of course. So, kung mag-achieve na rin lang tayo, bakit hindi pa perfect, di ba mga yep. CSA? Yes. Okay, so, summer, summertime, di ba? Summer na ba time, kayo? dapat beach body, di ba? <laughs> so, ito po yung time na mostly parang nagtitigil ka ng kumain. <laughs> True. Pero ang extreme dieting is not good. Yes, yes. Yep. So, may minabasa po ako, diet. kapag super nagdo-diet ka daw, mm -hmm. you're like forcing your brain to eat itself. Is right. It it's not also good kasi some of the chemicals in the brain, nagkakaroon ng imbalances yan. So, parang mag-rebound ka. Siya. Yes. Baka lalo ka rin gutumin at napapakain ka pa lalo ng marami. marami. Parang yo-yo phenomenon yun. Nagpapapayat ka tapos gugutumin ka, pakain ka na naman. Parang yung calories so, na binaburn mo. Kung magpapakiling mo, kailangan mong bawiin eh. Nagutom yes. ka, kailangan. So, may tamang paraan dyan eh. So, may Siguro tamang coaching dyan. Siguro reduce para gradually. Right. Actually, it's just, Tamo ano eh, yung natin. eating smart, yung yep. right calories lang kasi. Like, uh, calorie each counting. day. Exactly, that's calorie counting. Meron tayo kasing daily caloric requirement na umaayon sa daily activities mo. Physical ah, activities mo. Akala ko sa BMI, mo. Body Mass Index. Well, Body Mass Index, ito yung percentage, ilan ba yung... Um, Mayroon kasing fat percentage, yep. exactly. Tapos sa body mass index, doon namin inaalam kung ikaw ba'y nasa normal weight, or ikaw ba'y overweight, mm -hmm. or you are obese type 1, type 2, type 3. Or baka naman yes. underweight ka. <laughs> Mayroon kasing mga numbers yun eh, yung BMI. Pag nasa 30s ka na, obese na eh. Oh. Oo, diba? Alam niyo pa ba yung body mass index niyo? Ayaw po namin sa BMI. <laughs> Secret yun! <laughs> so, even us, kasi we're also working hard to oh, oh. keep our bodies in shape. Physically fit in the right body weight. Meron tayong tinatawag na ideal body weight. Okay. So parang it depends po sa height. And of course, kasi age. kayo, age, yeah, mga bata pa kayo, ang metabolism ninyo, mas mabilis pa. Kami daw, mga, mabilis pa daw. <laughs> Kami mga tumatanda na eh, nag-i-slow down ng metabolism. Parang hindi naman buhala tayo. <laughs> diba? Parang diba? pinanan lang tayo, Doktor. <laughs> Healthy lifestyle, mga kasi. Mga bata pa rin. <laughs> Yun nga, going back to the diet, yung eating right amounts of calories. So actually, kami here at CSA, we have some clients. Now, we determine their BMI. Mm -hmm. And of course, before silang mag-undergo ng weight management, meron muna kasi physical assessment at saka history taking. Inaalam okay. muna natin kung baka may medical condition. Okay. Baka merong diabetes mellitus, may hypertension. Allergic sa ganito. And yes, may mga allergies. 
allergies. So, lahat po niyan, inaalam for Pati safety. Pati po yung heart condition, exactly. lalo na kung exercise and eating. Right. Yeah. Para makapag-prescribe uh, tayo ng tamang dieting and tamang treatment sa CSA clinic, di ba? Ayan ang maganda sa CSA. Inaaral talaga nila para yes. nakakasigurado sila. Right. Alagang Individualized alagang. kasi ang treatment dito. Yeah. Pinikilala natin ang bawat client. Hindi kasi siya tipo na parang, in general, ito na yung i-apply mo sa lahat. No, Correct. kailangan aralin yeah. mo yung malilit na details. Right. Super, minsan nini-ignore nila, yes. pero hindi nila alam super yeah. important. Kaya so, tinitignan natin yung yep. physique, yung lahat. Siyo, kagaya niyo, <laughs> di ba? Healthy naman, wala silang mga medical condition. Very healthy! Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> Very safe. <laughs> Yan. Siyempre, number one talaga, lifestyle, diet, exercise. Kayo ba? Ano pa bang mga form of exercises nyo na pwede nyo i-share sa mga ka ating kasi SA? Ito. Ano? Yes. Ayun. May papayo ko lang. Hindi nyo naman kasi kailangan mag-gym sa... Pumunta sa gym na mag-exercise. Pinaka-import. Mm, pwede rin itong gawin sa bahay lang na... Yan. Manood lang kayo sa YouTube ng mga tamang yes. exercise at right. uh, yung procedure din, syempre, kailangan kayo munang magtanong sa CSA, si syempre, experts. Right. Yep. Yeah. Para yung katawan nyo, alam nyo kung sa yung mas, uh, mas bagay na workout. Right. And yun, magbiglaan kasi yung iba parang, kailangan pumayat ako, kailangan mukhang yes. okay na. Hindi naman pwedeng fast results kasi kailangan paghirapan natin yung gym body right. natin, di ba? And like, yung iba po na babalitaan ko, pag sobrang push up, nilalagnan, gano'n. <laughs> yep. Yung iba, parang kulang na lang hospital na sa sobrang right. parang intense na yes. workout na ginagawa nila. Yes. Hindi kaya ng katawan. Lalo na syempre yung sinanay mo yung katawan mo na dati, nakaupo mm -hmm. ko pa lang dyan. Right. Tapos biglang, biglang push yeah. ka dyan, hindi mm -hmm. pwede. Kasi you may wanna start kasi sa walking exercise. Mm -hmm. Balance din po kasi talaga. Sa Correct. Yung iba kasi like in a week, start sila three times a week. Start sa 10-minute walk muna. Oo, oh, pag ganun nga po. Kasi marami ngayon kasi, um, nagmamadali. Eh. Sobra. Right. Okay. Tapos, eh, ang work pala nila, office pala sila, mm -hmm. laging nakaupo. Wala talagang mga physical activities. Kung baga yung procedure po, hindi na nila sinusundan. Yes. Kung baga yung regular workout mo dati, kung siguro nag-walk nga lang po, 10 minutes, tapos yes. bigla kang kinabukasan, <laughs> ginawa mong sobra sa 10 right. minutes na. Jogging Napo? ka na. Jogging talaga, sobrang umigot ka na umigot. Kaka the next day, absent niya na siya sa work. Oh, Masa yun yung huwag na huwag na huwag na huwag na huwag na And it's also not good kasi yung cardiovascular system might not be ready to a heavy or strenuous exercise. Yung endurance kasi unti-unti mo exactly. din din. So, so, Kaedad ninyo, yan, na wala namang mga medical conditions, could follow your examples, right? Eating right diet yeah. and doing the exercise. Sizes. And here naman at CSA, kasi we have some procedures, non-surgical procedures. Ayan, yes. yun yung amazing doon. Right. Tapos walang downtime, di ba? No? Exactly. <laughs> Wala kang hinihintay. Pag kung are, may time ka lang, visit CSA. Tapos yes. biglang magic para kang nag-exercise yeah. ka for ilang months. Yeah. Kasi yung aming mga procedures, we make use of some slimming machines. Okay? Meron na tayong mga technology that can reduce fats in areas na napaka-stubborn ng mga taba na yun na mahirap tanggalin. <laughs> yeah, we have the radio frequency, meron yeah. tayong ultralipocavitation, yung bago ngayon, yung cool sculpting or cryosculpting, yun naman, malamig naman yun. It's freezing the fat cells naman. Tapos, meron naman yung minimal invasive, yung injection. Okay. Yun, ito, mga bata to, hindi na tapos injection. The ulcera naman kasi, we make use of that for, for example, sa face area, for mm -hmm. face contouring, for face lifting, pang liit din ng face, yun. Meron din kasing ulcera body shaping. Oh. So, meron din siya. So, we have some machines that we make use here at CSA. Yeah. And sa ating third segment, ipapakita natin yung ating mga slimming machines. Siyempre, yeah. tayo na rin Ayon. yung magka-try. Yep. <laughs> so, mga ka-CSA, abangan nyo po ang mga iba't ibang slimming procedures here at CSA. We're back mga ka-CSA. We are now on the part of the actual demonstration of our slimming procedures here at CSA. Together with me is Miss Vanessa. Hi! Yes, and we have a special guest, Miss May Ann Reyes. Ayan, May Ann. Introduce mo naman ang sarili mo for our ka-CSA. Hi guys, I'm May Ann Reyes, Lara Del Bulacan. Yeah! I'm a partial model and magazine model. 
Ayan, isa siyang Sports Illustrated Magazine model. Um, ang ating model, kailangan laging sexy ang body, di ba? Mm -hmm. Dahil nga, they represent a physically fit body in a Sports Illustrated Magazine. Kamusta naman ang pagmamodel may ay? May ba? Hindi Okay naman. Hindi naman. Pero what do you do to maintain your body in shape? Um, Anong ginagawa? Exercise. exercise. Yes, tama. Tapos diet din po. Diet. Bawal ang rice. Yes. Bawal ang rice. Mga kasi. Hindi naman. Konti. Konti lang. And that's why you are here, May Ann, to do these slimming treatments para naman ma-maintain natin na mas maliit ang arms, flat ang belly, and slimmer ang thighs natin. And with that, we will be doing the ultra lipo cavitation. Have you done that before, May Ann? Hindi pa. Okay, ang lipo cavitation machine ay nagbe-break ng mga fats. Especially doon sa mga parte ng katawan na mahirap tanggalin yung mga bulges. So, ito target na talaga. Now, before we do the procedure, we do measurements. So, our Eileen, our assistant, will be measuring. Specifically, right now, for May Ann, we can do yung thigh area. Okay? So, the, the arms are slim. Now, flat ang belly. We can work on your thighs right now. So, we are about to do the ultra lipo cavitation for Miss May Ann. So, our Miss Eileen had done the measurement already. So, ilan na nakuha po natin na measurement na kanyang thighs. So, 22, 21, 20. And then, after the procedure, we might expect a decrease of like about at least a centimeter, two or three centimeters. So, while our Miss Eileen is doing the procedure, so, Miss Vanessa, do you have any questions on this treatment? Doc, meron pa po tayong watch out for na bawal inumin na drugs or yes. going activity. Bawal ba po magpawis bago to gawin? Like this one, this treatment kasi dahil mga non-surgical naman to, we're just doing machines. May Ann can do the usual activities he is, she is doing. So, wala naman daw mga bawal-bawal, wala namang uh, contraindications ng mga medicines. So, wala. This is a very wonderful one. Relax lang siya, pampered pa siya, and we like it. I love it also on my body. Kasi look at that, we actually applied an ultrasonic gel. So, this is just the uh, handle. Ito lang yun. Pero kasi siyang ini-emit na sound waves. It's an ultrasonic Apo. sound wave. So, may naririnig ka, Miss Mayan, na parang high-pitch sound. Yan. Yung sound waves na yon, so, mm -hmm. nagpe-penetrate yon sa inner layer, yung may mga subcutaneous fats, it will cause a vibratory effect. Apa. So, yung mga fat cells, nagkakaroon ng vibratory effect doon. So, yung mga walls, the cell walls will be ano, broken, mara-rupture siya. So, yun yung mechanism nitong ating ultrasonic uh, lipocavitation. And then, Doc, yung mga ruptured cell walls na to, or ruptured fats, yes. i-excrete po na ating body through right. output ng feces or yes. sa CR. So, we ito. always say it's like the normal fat metabolism, yung, yung physiology and biochemistry natin. So, actually, they're drained sa lymphatic system muna. Apo. Tapos sa lymphatic and go back circulation in the renal system, so urination, di ba? So, napakadali lang ng technique. So, our client is very comfortable, di ba? Wala siya nung mga painful, like, syempre, meron din naman surgical. But if you want to do non-surgical, this is the option. We also have here yung injections, yung mesotherapy. Ang ini-inject oh. naman natin are metabolites. Apo. Na directly dun sa subcutaneous fats. Meron din siyang action to liquefy the fat cells. So, isa pang technique yon. Normally, what I do here before I give the lipocavitation, I inject dun sa subcutaneous area. Mm -hmm. And then after that, do the lipocavitation. And after the lipocavitation, we follow it up with radiofrequency. Ah, yes. so, Doc, may package talaga po. Yes, there's a series of procedures that we do. And then, the interval will be once a week, Miss May Ann. She will actually come back next week. So, for some of my patients, I give them like 7 sessions, 10 sessions. It will depend. Kasi, we have to check her also kung ano ba yung body mass index niya. Maganda na yung BMI niya eh. Within normal BMI si, siyempre si May Ann, no? Uh, what we're doing with her is just the shaping, the contouring. Tapos, may maintain niya na slimmer siya. So, maintenance lang sa kanya talaga. Okay. okay. So, may katanungan ba si Miss May Ann? Um, after po ba nitong treatment na to, may bawal po. Yeah, that's another wonderful question. Yun nga, actually, she asked a while ago kung meron bang bawal doon. Actually, yeah, and you can go back to your useful activities, okay? Well, we normally tell our clients to drink a lot of water, hydrate, 
yung mas mainam din yung ano yung medyo lukewarm water so drink a lot of water para mas mabilis yung excretion ng mga na metabolize na fats yon mm -hmm. then also together with that we advise our patients our clients sa lifestyle we give them actually a list of diet to avoid ano yung mga kailangan iwasan syempre yung mga high calories yung mga saturated fats iwasan na yung mga yan yung mga sweets sugars yung sobrang taas sa calories iwasan and then we advise for any kind of physical activities we have like forms to fill in and then meron tayong mga i-guide sa iyo so here complete ang treatment we actually approach also yung lifestyle modification so we can coach every client of ours and tell them what to avoid yan ano ba yung ideal na caloric requirement per day okay. so, lahat na ngayon ini-educate natin ang bawat client ng CSA and while we're doing this lipo slimming machine for Miss Mayan you may want to invite our televiewers Miss Mayan um, hi guys, um, pwede niyo po ako i-add sa Facebook, um, mayanreyes2014 at yell.com. Ayan, definitely a lot of boys would want to look into <laughs> that. So mga ka-CSA, abangan naman natin ang ating male version on the slimming procedures here at CSA. Welcome back mga ka-CSA. We are still on the part of the slimming procedures here at CSA. And now we have here with us, Yong. Hi! Kamusta ang procedure mo? Okay naman po. How do you feel? Medyo mainit po. <laughs> mainit. So this is the so-called radio frequency on the tummy area. So this is making use of the thermal heat. Ang main purpose is to tighten. Tighten the skin. More Ay, of firming pa. and contouring as well. And ang ating handsome client here, hmm. actually ayaw po niya nung mga invasive or aggressive slimming hmm. procedures or fat reduction. You don't want any needles, <laughs> no cutting, <laughs> yes, no incisions. So para po dun sa ating mga televiewers na takot sa mga surgery, takot sa needles, this is the best option. They can do the lipo cavitation, they can do the radio frequency. Look, same lang po po sila ng duration and maintenance yes, program ng lipo-cavitation. How long is the procedure? Yun, pareho po sila. So actually, pwedeng combination na lipo mm -hmm. after that, the radio frequency. Pero Tok, meron pa po tayong contraindications po dyan? Yes. The radio frequency we have mentioned a while ago, dapat wala pong mga metal implants. Mm -hmm. Okay? And of course, for our clients na merong mga cardiac arrhythmia, uh -huh. may mga cardiac problems, hindi rin pwede. So they also have to have a controlled blood pressure, mm -hmm. controlled blood sugar, so normal dapat yung mga ganong blood chemistry, right? With... Kermina naman, yan, physically fit na siya eh. Maganda na yung shape niya eh. Um, may yeah. concern din eh. Di ba yung mga iba nagsasabi Flabby na lang? Arm. Flabby arm. So, what can we do to reduce the flabbiness? No? Kung si yung machine, pwede tayo kay Kermina, kaya ni Kermina, a minimally invasive technique which we call mesolipotherapy. So, we have some metabolites. It's a solution na meron po siyang mga components para i-dissolve yung mga fats. And at the same time, meron siyang pang-tighten and pang-firm ng skin. So nice. So, kay Carmina, we can do that for Carmina. Eh. Matapang nung batang ko. <laughs> diba? Before we already did the face contouring, diba? We shaped the face, gamit ng face ni Carmina. Yes po, thank you so much. Yes, right now naman, lalo natin paliitin ng arms. Yes. Concern po nila ang arm. Actually, this is just a quick technique, a very, very um, easy to administer procedure, okay, mm -hmm. madilis lang. And ito naman, wala naman um, after wala the procedure. Wala rin po downtime. Yes, wala. You can resume to your usual activities, okay. Mm -hmm. Tapos usually within the week, napapansin mo na nare-reduce na yung size ng kanyang arms. And after the injection, we may proceed with the radio frequency mm -hmm. or the lipo cavitation. So madali lang ito. Actually, it's like um, when you do vaccination. So, this is mesolipotherapy. Carmina, easy to administer lang siya. So, we'll clean the skin lang. Medyo with alcohol. warning lang po. Magugulatin ako eh. Magugulatin. Yeah, be very gentle, of course. Diba? Remember yep. when we yeah. did your jawline? So, I'll just pinch the skin and then parang bakuna lang po and pass up ang medicine. Okay, yun lang po. 
Kayang kaya. Pwedeng 3 point injection lang. So, yun lang po mga kasiyese. Then, I'll go on the other side para pantay. Okay, there you go. So, yung ating solution ay nasa subcutaneous layer or fat layer or fat layer. So, it's gonna take effect within the week. So, after the procedure, we may do the radio frequency. So, same thing with the other side. We do that also. Message sa mga natatako dyan, lalo na ako, before I had phobia sa needle po. Pero dahil dito kay doktor, wala ka kasi mararamdaman. So, mawala yung fear mo. Kaya ako ngayon, parang feeling ko, tapang ko na. Go lang ako ng go. So, ayun. Lalo na sa mga may fear dyan, dito kayo pumunta sa TSA. Promise, yes. wala kayong mafe-feel. Right. Yan, Yong. What is your message to our CSA? Yong? Ayan, kung gusto nyo maging fit, Punta lang kayo ay Dr. Contessa dito sa CSA Derm Center. Oy, with matching maintenance yun, ha? Huh? Yup. Yes. <laughs> Siyempre, kailangan nyo pa rin mag-maintain. Right. Miss Contessa, our message to our televiewers. Hi. Uh, dito po kasi kay Dr. Contessa, marami po ako natututunan. Kasi aside from being as her occasional co-host, isa rin po ako sa mga nag-duty under her, hopefully under her future yes. associate. Yay! <laughs> so our future associate, Dr. Vanessa, my future colleague. So yan mga kasiyasay, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, you may email me at csaskinclinic at yahoo.com. Our clinic is located here at Pure Gold Dau, second floor of the Pure Gold Dau building, MacArthur Highway, Mambalacat City. And our contact numbers are 0906-478-4981 or 045-331-1117. So mga kasiyasay, when it comes to your skincare, you may trust the CSA Certified Skin Authority.